Those Who Wish Me Dead. It's a terrible title, but how is it as a movie? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It and my spoiler-free review for the new Angelina Jolie film available now on HBO Max or in theaters, Those Who Wish Me Dead. If you are new to Dan Reviews It, thank you for finding my video. Please consider subscribing down below or hitting that bell even uh, to get all of my notifications when I put new videos up. Uh, let's get right into this movie, shall we? So uh, this is another Taylor Sheridan movie. We just talked about him uh, recently with Without Remorse, the new Michael B. Jordan film that was not very good. But this dude has a great pedigree. He wrote Sicario. He wrote Hell or High Water, both movies in the A range for me, and uh, of course, he's probably best known at this point for creating uh, Yellowstone, which is one of the most popular shows around. Uh, he directs here, which he did not direct uh, uh, the, the first couple movies I talked about. Uh, he wrote them, but he didn't direct them, so he co-wrote this, but uh, he directed it as well, and how does that work out for him? Well, uh, let's talk about the plot first, and then we'll get into the specifics. So uh, the movie follows a young boy about maybe 9 or 10 years old. He's played by Finn Little, uh, who is relatively a newcomer. I, I didn't recognize anything that he'd been in before, probably just – you know, some small films or something. Uh, but he witnesses the murder of his father early on in the movie and then um, ends up going on the run. He uh, is found by a smoke jumper played by Angelina Jolie uh, in the Montana wilderness in this big forest, and they are trying to escape a pair of assassins uh, played by Nicholas Holt and Aiden Gillen uh, hired to find the boy and silence him. And they're also the ones who uh, kill his dad in one of the opening scenes. Um, so that's uh, the basic premise. We also have performances here from John Barenthal, Medina Senghor, and Jake Weber. Uh, and Tyler Perry even is in a little bit of a cameo. He's only in, I think, one scene. Um, but, uh, you know, all things aside, I actually think Tyler Perry is a really good dramatic actor. I thought he was great in Gone Girl. And I know uh, the movie gets a lot of crap, but I thought he did a good job as Alex Cross as well in that film. But uh, he's he's here for one little scene, enough for you to be like, wait, is that Tyler Perry? Um, and, and then he's gone and we never see him again. But um, Angelina Jolie, uh, I really enjoy. I'm glad she's getting back to her action uh, era. I think that's – Maybe that's not what she's most famous for, but I mean I think some of her biggest hits are in that realm. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, Salt, Wanted was obviously a big hit for her. So, you know, it's nice to see her after several years sort of getting back into that realm. Um, and I think this is a good role for her uh, because it's not too showy. I mean she does a few stunts uh, and, and I didn't look it up, but I have to assume she did them herself because – She's all about doing her own stunts. That was like a big deal when Salt came out. Um, but there's a, there's a few things in here that that I could see her doing um, as part of the role. But um, mostly, she is sort of mother bear to this little boy that she finds, uh, Connor. And uh, their chemistry is very good. This boy, I don't, I don't know really, like I said, from anything, Finn Little, but he does a, a really good job here, really convincing on uh, both sort of the, the scared emotions and the more dramatic stuff. Um, can't say his comedy chops or, or anything because this movie is not very funny at all. But uh, this really harkens back kind of to some of those 90s classic movies where you really just go to see a bunch of cool action sequences. And I think Sheridan knows this in his directing because there's a lot of really cool set pieces. The wildfires are, are very uh, neat to see and interesting, and um, there's a lot of, of good action in it. Um, so if you want to come for that, I, I think you'll be uh, pretty happy about it. However, if you're going to come for plot schematics and character development from basically anybody, uh, you're not really going to get that. Um, especially, my biggest problem with it is the villains. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's uh, Nicholas Holt, Aiden Gillen. Um, and they, J Aiden Gillen, you might know from the Maze Runner, he's, he's playing basically the same kind of role here. Uh, and then Nicholas Holt, I never find him that convincing when he goes for like the hardcore badass in his movies. Um, but 
you know, he's trying his best here, but the script isn't really offering him anything. Like, these guys are just evil because they're they're evil and let's you know let's we're gonna kill this dad and then we're gonna go after his son and we don't care you know win at all costs kind of thing but we know very 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 little about what the dad was actually killed for like he knows some sort of information and he turned somebody in for something but we never get any like details on that at all um so it's all quite vague you're just like okay i'm just gonna assume that these guys know what they're doing but they're like they're so villainous and almost a little bit corny that they do sort of end up being that like mustache twirling villain for a little bit of the movie um especially when connor's life is sort of at stake they're just like well we don't care if you're a kid like whatever we're gonna kill you anyway kind of thing um you know it's it's very classic villain um you know so i wouldn't expect much depth with that but uh, i think joe lee's performance is, is very good and again I, I assume she probably did the stunts herself the set pieces are great so um i i do think there's more good here probably than bad uh but again you don't want to expect too much from this movie i think if you watch it expecting a a great action movie where there's some interesting things to look at some cool fights i think you'll be happy if you expect the uh, you know the subtlety and the depth of a Sicario or a Hell or High Water, it's going to be a disappointment. But overall, I did like it. Uh, it's nice to see Joe Lee again, uh, you know, doing some of these action things. I don't think this movie quite measures up to her other action performances that I mentioned. But uh, I think Taylor Sheridan is sort of on a roller coaster because without remorse, not very good. I think I gave that like in the C range uh, and some of his earlier work very, very highly regarded by me. Uh, but I'm going to leave this one, Those Who Wish Me Dead, with a B. I think if you know what you get uh, or you know what you're going to get going into it, I, I think you'll be satisfied with it. Um, character development, though, look somewhere else for that. Thanks for watching, and we will see you back here next time on Dan Reviews It.